Hi, everybody. Thanks for joining us. I'm going to give it uh, another minute or two and then we'll get started. So uh, thanks very much. I'm sorry we can't do this in person, um, but hopefully this will answer a lot of questions for you guys tonight. All right, so welcome everybody. It is seven. Um, I'm live on uh, YouTube as well as on this um, Zoom right now. I'm going to record this and I'll be able to post it. So if you want to watch it again or um, people that can't be here tonight will certainly have access to it. But this is a meeting we've had every year, except for last year, I guess, to kind of talk about senior events and make sure everybody's on the same page with what's going on. Um, this year. So our, our big event is graduation. That's the event we're, we're working towards. And our, our event is going to be on Thursday, June 10th at 8 a.m. at the Stutler Bowl, which is on the campus of Cherry Creek High School. Uh, this will be the second year in a row where we've been doing it at uh, Stutler Bowl. We would have loved to have been inside at the Ritchie Center, which is where we've been for years, but unfortunately, uh, DU is not letting that many people into that space right now. So we will be at uh, Stellar Bowl on Thursday, June 10th at 8 a.m. And again, that is on the campus at Cherry Creek High School. So um, we're looking forward to that event, but we have a lot of other events coming up as well that I just wanna make sure all of you are aware of and, and kind of talk through. So the first event that might be coming up here in May is our Senior Awards Night. It is on Tuesday, May 11th. We will be giving out faculty awards and scholarships at this awards night. It starts at 7 p.m. and it's in our auditorium. If your son or daughter or is, is receiving an award, they will get a, a letter in the mail inviting them to attend. Uh, this isn't the Oscars. We don't invite five people for every category and four leave sad and, and one's a winner. Everybody that gets the letter is winning an award that night. So um, if you do get a letter to attend the awards night, we hope that you will attend and we will be able to uh, have at least two family members attend as well for that awards night. Um, it will be a much smaller scope than our traditional awards night in person. We will be giving out department awards, but we will be making a video uh, similar to what we did last year and sending that out for any of our department awards winners. But our first kind of big senior event coming up is, is Tuesday, May 11th. And those letters uh, of invitation will go out in the next week for that award night. We do have a senior night and I just wanna to touch base on this a little bit. I've got lots of questions in my office uh, about this, but it is uh, on May 15th, which is a Saturday from eight to 11. It's at Smoky Hill. Um, it is a combination of a prom and after prom, uh, but for Smoky Hill seniors only. So all Cherry Creek School District schools are offering a senior night for their seniors. Um, we will have it on the same night as Grandview and Cherry Creek, and then Eagle Crest and Overland and Cherokee Trail are the next Saturday. Uh, I feel very lucky that our district is supporting this and behind this. Uh, I know I've received questions already about why no juniors or why no guests. Um, that's the district's decision and they're trying to keep it as safe as possible and be able to contact or contact trace as best as possible if there's any issues with the event, but I do know that there are Douglas County schools that are uh, a little more bold in what they're doing with their proms, but at the same time, I also know that Littleton Public Schools have, have said there's no proms at all. So I'm happy that we have something kind of in between there, and I hope our kids will be excited to come. We do have a dance area as well as a full casino area in the cafeteria. We'll have games in the East Gym that are, are, are gonna be super fun. We've got uh, photo booths that are available uh, in the activities hall and food available I mean, as well. Tickets are $30, so $20 less than what we've typically charged for a prom. Um, but I'm really excited that we're having this event for seniors and uh, that this is being available. So I hope 
kids will participate and are excited to have a you know some small sense of normalcy okay. with this event so Not i know even, people have questions i'm going to just go through this and then i'll try to get to questions at the end i'll, no. I'll ask you to to okay. um put it in the chat, but I'd, I'd like to go through this first okay. thing today and answer questions at the end uh important date for seniors okay. is checkout day so monday may 17th is checkout day for seniors They'll need to come to school between 8 to 2 p.m., uh, 8 a.m. to 2 p.m., and check out. The checkout will take place uh, starting May 10th. They'll be able to pick up their checkout sheets, uh, but final checkout uh, is the 17th. So they can pick up uh, their checkout sheet on the 10th. They'll need to see each teacher sign out of each class, and then they'll need to come to school on the 17th and check out with our bookkeeping office, our counseling office, and our record office on Monday, May 17th. Um, once they check out, they'll get a wristband, which says that they're complete, and they'll be then able to pick up their cap and gown on May 17th. I was wondering what different the, uh, schedule than we've had. Um, just if I could ask everybody to be on mute, I know we're recording this, so. I can hear some people, if, if you wouldn't mind just muting. And, and again, I'll get to questions at the very end. Um, here's some things from our counseling office that all students can do right now. One is to complete the required senior survey, which can be found on Naviance. Um, eventually, they need to let Ms. Horst know in postgrad, she's our postgrad secretary, know uh, about your postgrad plans and she needs to know where to send a final transcript to for your son or daughter if they're going on to college. We ask also that you complete the scholarship survey form that was sent to each senior through Schoology. That's due next Friday. Please list all scholarships that have been awarded. Even if you didn't accept the scholarship, we want to know who they are. It's important for our postgrad. Uh, but we will also list that information in our graduation program. So we'd love to ha have all that information that we could share. Our postgrad really wants to make it clear that all seniors need to do the best they can to finish strong, that your grades really do matter this last semester of your senior year. You do need to pass all required classes to be able to be certified to graduate. Only students that are receiving a diploma or will have received enough credits to graduate, will be able to participate in our ceremony. Uh, I also like to tell this horror story of one year where I had one student who had an F in math, his second semester of his senior year, ended up a half a credit short, and 20 family members flew in from Hawaii for a graduation that they were hoping to go to on a party that they were not able to uh, attend because he didn't graduate. So no matter how many family members you have flying in from wherever it might be, uh, you have to meet the required number of classes to graduate. So please be aware of that. I know that senioritis they believe is some uh, thing that's going on. It's not real, it's not real. Um, but hopefully they get pushed through that and finish strong. Um, our postgrad, your postgrad plans and scholarships do sometimes depend on how you finish. I, I'm aware of students that have lost scholarships, uh, of colleges that have rescinded a mission and military appointments that have been taken away because of poor final grade second semester of their senior year. So we don't want that to happen to every, anybody at all. We want them to finish strong and, and uh, finish out uh, as, as best they can. I know we're in difficult times, but certainly we don't want any of those things to happen to any kid here. Uh, we will have a senior exit assembly, and it is on that same day in the afternoon at two o'clock. So they can check out, they can go home, come back, um, or they can check out later, stay here, go to it. But it's at two o'clock in the West Gym. We will pass out senior superlatives, and we're going to show the senior slideshow uh, on our new big scoreboards in our gym. Um, so we're excited to do that with just the senior class on Monday, May 17th at two o'clock. Parents, we do need your help for this senior slideshow. Your pictures are the best pictures. So 
we have set up a Facebook page. It's uh, Smoky Hill Class of 2021. We would love for you to upload any pictures that we could use to put in that slideshow. This is a picture of our seniors when they were freshmen after they girls won the powder buff football game against the seniors that year. That was awesome. Um, but if you've got pictures from kindergarten graduation, from the eighth grade dance, anything at all, we'd love to get some of your pictures um, that we could use for our senior slideshow. And Facebook is the easiest way to do that. We're able to download those pictures. We can't do that uh, as easily off of Instagram or uh, Twitter. So if you would be willing to submit those through Facebook, that would be great. We set up a page like this through Facebook every year and it then later serves as a way that we can communicate with parents and with seniors uh, or the of members of that class for reunions in the future as well. So uh, it's, it's worthwhile at least joining the page so that you can be in contact with that group in the future. Um, that's kind of how we've, how we've been able to contact people in the future is through Facebook pages that we originally set up uh, to do senior slideshows. Cap and gowns will be distributed right after the senior slideshow on Monday, May 17th. That's at three o'clock. So right after we finish, it'll be in the activities hall. Everyone who has paid their fees and checked out will get a wristband, which will allow them, if they have ordered their cap and gown, to pick up their cap and gown that night. If you can't attend on that Monday, we will have cap and gowns available in the activities office. Uh, that were ordered to pick up. So if this is not something you can attend or a senior can't attend, that's not gonna be their only opportunity to pick up their cap and gown. Um, it will also include any cords that they may have earned will be in along with the cap and gown when they pick it up on the 17th. But again, if they can't get it on that date, they will be able to pick it up in the activities office uh, that throughout that week or even into next week. Uh, in addition to this, the district has asked that we pass out our diplomas not on the field at the graduation um, as part of a protocol. So we are actually going to give diplomas out earlier to students. So we are planning a car parade uh, similar to what we did last year on Friday, May 28th, starts at 10 a.m. Um, and however long it takes to get everybody through it, but hopefully about two hours to get everybody through that. Uh, we'd love it if kids would wear their cap and gown in the car parade, decorate their cars. Uh, we will pass out the diploma at that point in time. And it's a great way to celebrate with our staff. That's our staff's last contracted day. Um, the bulk of our staff will not actually be at the graduation ceremony itself, so they will be there to celebrate on that day. So the diploma car parade is Friday, May 28th. Again, all of our Cherry Creek School District high schools are doing this, I believe all on that same day um, to avoid kind of any, any situations at the graduation itself. Typically we would give at the graduation just a diploma cover on the floor and we're still gonna do that. And then you'd have to go wait in the gym in a long line to pick up your diploma. So we're removing that long line waiting area, partly because we're, we're outdoors as well this year. Um, so we will be passing out diplomas earlier, about two weeks prior to the actual ceremony. The ceremony itself, again, is Thursday, June 10th at 8 a.m. at Stutler Bowl on the campus of Cherry Creek High School. Um, some information about that day all students will get a color-coded name card when they pick up their cap and gown. The color of the card will be assigned to what section they, seat at, they sit at at the ceremony. There will be no assigned seats at the ceremony except for the performers, which will have seats easy access to the stage. Each student will hand their name card to the faculty reader and the reader will then repeat their name card into the sound system. And then students will then receive a diploma cover from the board of education member. will get to walk across the, the front of the stage, receive their diploma cover, which is traditionally how we've run every graduation. We don't actually hand the diploma out at graduation, just the cover. Again, if you are not able to attend the ceremony, 
We will have plenty of covers available if you want to pick one up after the ceremony time. Um, if anyone forgets their name card, we certainly will have uh, people available to get new ones made for them before the start of the ceremony. Uh, the doors and the, and the gates traditionally have opened one hour before that to get into the ceremony. Students can start coming in as early as one hour before. Uh, there's plenty of parking. Part of the reason why they've pushed the graduations back a little bit is so that Cherry Creek High School, uh, Bellevue Elementary, Campus Middle School, which are all in that general area, will not be in session so that there will be plenty of parking available. So um, lots of opportunity places to park here and around there. They say that there's almost uh, 1300 spaces. Our graduating class is about uh, 470. So there should be plenty of spaces available for our, our graduates uh, to park. Um, now the next slide, I just want to talk to you about the fact that I there are no absolute final plans about how many people can attend the ceremony. Um, last year, we got a variance through uh, Tri-County Health and the district has not finalized that at this point in time. So the information I have here uh, is what we did last year, and this could certainly change and we will absolutely communicate with you if it does, but the variance that we were given last year through Tri-County Health allowed for two guests per graduate. Um, again, that, that may change, but I have been assured that that most likely won't go down, but we may be able to have more than that. But as of right now, um, this is what we did last year. And again, I, I have not gotten confirmation uh, that it would go up or down. So two, grad, two guests per graduate, it will be live streamed on YouTube. So anybody that's not in the arena will be able to watch it live. And then it will be recorded for people to be able to watch later. There are no tickets. Anybody that is attending will need to arrive at the exact same time as the student that they are there uh, with. Um, masks must be worn by everyone, graduates and guests, even if vaccinated. We're going to ask that everybody's wearing masks and, uh, both on the field and in the stands. And the bleachers will be marked so that groups will be socially distanced in the stands. Um, the district has asked for no large gatherings in the parking lot, either before or after the ceremony. So uh, we will not have a rehearsal only a rehearsal for performers. So we will uh, send out more information. This is, Tonight, I really just wanted to provide you with information about dates and the information I have now. But as we get things updated, we absolutely will continue to communicate with you about uh, this event and any updates to any of this information that we might have. Um, so one thing I do need for seniors to start doing is to complete the graduation or the graduation and commencement ceremony form, which I did include on a link to on the um, message that went out to all parents the last couple of days. I will also post that on Schoology. Uh, what we just ask is that the senior lets us know whether they will plan on participating in the ceremony or not. We want to get a feel for how many people to expect that day. Um, and then know that uh, this participation in the ceremony is a privilege. Absolutely getting your diploma if you've earned it is a right. And that all Cherry Creek School Districts do have a standard that if there are any suspensions or expulsions towards the end of the year, those students would not be able to participate in the ceremony. So we just want everybody to be understanding of that and it is explained on that form. Um, so a lot to look forward to. Uh, I'm sure you have some questions. I'll take those in just a minute. Um, but I know this class has been through a lot. I know it's been difficult, uh, but I hope that we put together some events that they'll be looking forward to and are excited about. Uh, it'd be nice to see them all back like this. I know that that's not necessarily the reality, but uh, we we'll certainly will uh, do our best to give them some really good fun events here. So um, I'm going to stop the recording of this and then I will go and open up the chat. So if anybody has any questions, I'm, I'm happy to stick around 
and answer some questions in the chat. Otherwise, um, that is our, our presentation tonight. So I'm going to stop the share there and then uh, I will open up some questions, but I'm going to stop the recording.